Wanna hear the truth, don't want no lies I done told you about it a thousand times yeah. What's up Rebels? It's your girl Elisha Marie's and I am back with part 3 of my fuckboy series Okay, so what you are looking at right now is legit what I looked like on this very day so I am taking you back to February 14th, 2013, okay? Valentine's Day 2013, this is what I was wearing. Lips were atrocious. Eyeliner was kind of fleaky. But the only thing that's not the same are my earrings and my hair. I used to wear, wear, wear bamboos, but I can't find any anywhere in this fucking house. And then I had like a really, really like sleek, long ponytail that day. Okay? So, at this time, my phone was off. I, where is that phone anyway? But yeah, my phone was off. And um, I had a text plus number. And me and Freckles, that was like our way of communicating with each other. And I can only really pretty much communicate with him if I was on Wi-Fi. Like once I went outside, there was no conversation. So, um, on this day, we were texting back and forth. I think I had an exam or something like that. So we were, you know, talking, um, and right before the exam, the last thing he said to me was, I'm sorry, I can't, okay? I just want you guys to remember that. The last message that he sent me before my exam was, I'm sorry, I can't, okay? So, um... After class, uh, my friend TR and I, we had went out to uh, downtown area and she went to go get her nails done. She was gonna pay for me to get my nails done, but I was just like, you know, that's doing too much. Plus I got a nigga to do shit like that for me. And um, I was just like, I'm not, you know, I'm not gonna let you do that, you know? So she had um, got her nails done and I had been like, trying to find Wi-Fi so I can get in contact with him just to see where he was at because I didn't want to go all the way to his house and then his aunt tell me that he wasn't home. So um, I went on her phone and I went on Twitter and then I saw that his best friend had tweeted that he was going to West Farms with him, not West Farms, but to Buckland Mall with him, which is a mall on the other side of the fucking water. Mind you, my college was on the other side of the river so basically we had to go back in that direction so tiara was like all right i, I want to go shopping anyway so let's just do it that bus ride from downtown to manchester is about an hour ride depending on what bus you took and of course we took the bus that takes the long route so it took us about an hour to get to the mall we get to the mall, we're walking around, we're looking in the stores. Um, we went, we stopped at a sneaker for store first, and um, they weren't in there. And then me and Tiara was just like doing some, doing some shopping. Towards like, I want to say around three, we decided to go get some food. And the food court, well, the mall itself has like general Wi-Fi, so I was on that Wi-Fi. And it was kind of janky, it wasn't really too much fucking with me the way it should have been, but, you know, it was enough for me to be able to, you know, check my Twitter and and my Snapchat, because Snapchat was popping back then, y'all just didn't know about it. And, um, check those things, and, you know, the only thing that wasn't working was the text plus. So, once we get into the food court, we eat or whatever. Um, he and I had been texting back and forth or whatever. I was like, I'm at the mall. Where are you? Blah, blah, blah. Whoop -woo. And I kind of wasn't really getting the responses that I wanted. So I just put my phone down. I was like, fuck it. Whenever you're ready to go, like, you know, we can go home. Right as I said that to her, a whole, like, bunch of messages came in at once. And one of the messages says, I'm sorry, I can't do this. So I started freaking the fuck out because i'm like it's valentine's day my nigga like are you breaking up with me like are you fucking retarded like you're breaking up with me on valentine's day i'm crying like 
I look a hot ass fucking mess like it was terrible so I just tell happened to see his best friend walking by like right when the text message you know was like came through and he had came over to us and he was like all right well we're going to Macy's like come meet us over there so like when he walked away that's when I got the message so I was just like did this nigga send him over here to set me up for this breakup text or like what the fuck because it, it, it was really like it was really really fucking bad like I like felt like my fucking insides were like torn apart like it was really really bad and um so he was walking in front of us and then I just so happened to look over the banister and over the banister I saw him a girl and his cousin that he lived with then they were all standing there talking so I left Tiara with his best friend upstairs and I kindly and quietly went down the escalator no one saw me coming which is the crazy part no one saw me coming so I went down the escalator and I like tapped him on his shoulder and he turned around his cousin walked away and another guy walked up so the girl that he was talking to was his little cousin and the guy that came over was her father so that was like his I don't know if that was his uncle or something like that it's somewhere in that family in like the immediate family situation and um He introduced me, he was like, oh, this is my girlfriend, blah, 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 this, that, and third. And I'm looking at him like, so we just gonna act like you didn't just send me a text message that was just like, I can't do this, like, hello, like, what the fuck? And, um, I'm just like, hi, you know, faking the funk, you know, pretending like I wasn't just fucking crying my fucking eyes out, like, legit just trying to fake it till I make it pretty much and I noticed that he had a bag in his hand the bag was from like Hallmark or some shit like that and uh, I guess they had went to the mall so that they could like shop around and he could get my gift fucking niggas my niggas and uh, at this point I was just ready to go home so we all get on the bus he's still holding the bag i don't know what's in the bag but i know he's still holding the bag his cousin is trying to finesse tiara and at that point she was over him they had been stopped talking there was really like no reason for them to like have com like converse at all so his best friend was trying to like you know be jokey jokey ha ha kiki with you know tiara to just make her feel more comfortable because she really did not want to be around his cousin and he um I saw his cousin get irritated. I don't know what the fuck that was about, but he got like really, 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 really fucking irritated. And I'm just like, we already know about you, so I don't know what you're getting upset over her for. And then once we get downtown, she goes and she catches her bus. I get on the bus with the boys. So now we're back in the hood. And we get... We get off at his house, because the bus stop was like, like I told y'all the last story, the bus stop was at the corner where his house was. We get off there, but we proceed to walk down to the plaza where I met him. Why we went down there, no one knows, no one got any food, nothing. We were just walking up and down the street for no reason. And I was confused. I was like, nigga, when the fuck are we going in the house? So his cousin, and his best friend they went to like a corner store or something then we went we went back up the street and went in the house i'm sitting on the couch i spoke to his aunt or whatever and he threw the fucking bag at me like he walked in his room at this point he had a room y'all he threw the bag at me and i go in the bag and it's two things in the bag. One of the things I no longer have, but the main thing that the biggest thing in the bag I still have. So I 
pull this out of the bag and I wonder if it still works. And it's supposed to like sing or some shit like that. This shit is really fucking corny. But in all reality, I asked for a Builder Bear. So, um, Dummy wasn't smart enough to take the fucking price tag off of this. And he got this for $14.95. Isn't that great? So, um, Builder Bears are like what $15 if you get them unstuffed you could have just got me an unstuffed bear and I would have been straight you know he got me the monkey and a, a chain like the top of it was like a heart and then it was uh like a key at the end and then the box it said oh you got a key in my heart blah 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 I'll probably insert a picture of the, what the necklace looked like and I take it out and you know oh 18 years old and fucking stupid take it out and he puts it on me or whatever and I, he was just acting really 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 fucking weird like i couldn't understand why his behavior had like started changing like dude was acting mad weird for like maybe about a month and a half now and i was just like whatever like i'm good i'm good I'm, I'm happy like you know I'm fine I had left around like six that day or so like and I just I just went home you know we texted back and forth but like it was really 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 dry and I'm just like I mean probably at the time I really didn't think nothing of it I was just like oh maybe he's busy but it was just like my nigga I chased you around Harford County like you know you could at least like you know be in the moment or whatever or you know be it, yeah in the moment like in this conversation like but now like back then i was so stupid and i was so happy that i was just like whatever maybe like you know he went to go play basketball or something maybe he went to sleep who knows like but yeah like i said um i kind of like i really really did freak myself out that day and it was really 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 bad and i really thought that that nigga had broke up with me on valentine's day on some like shiesty shit so i don't have to buy you nothing because that's what niggas do niggas will leave you when you know, it's time to spend that coin, and that's not really the case. So, guys, that is the end of part three. I guess this is kind of like building up to my next video because part four is where shit really, really hits the fan, and it's just it's it's gonna be really really hard for me to tell because that was something that i went through kind of by myself i didn't really have anybody with me in that video so well, well not video but in that scenario i didn't have anybody with me um so y'all that is the end of part three you guys know what to do like comment subscribe if you haven't subscribed already and um i have another video up it'll be up by the time you see this video so go check out my youtuber mary fucker kill video um i probably killed some of your favorite youtubers probably marry them probably fuck the couple you never know but guys go check out that fucking video i'm so excited to actually film that video at this very fucking moment so um guys please 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 please, please um 
anybody want a monkey um, this is like literally like just a placeholder in my house right now like hey put me down <laughs> so if anybody wants a monkey please let me know i'll be happy to send this to you because this is just a reminder of a shitty relationship in a shitty fucking year. So if anybody wants a little freaking pink monkey that talks, please let me know. And I'm pretty sure this button doesn't fucking work anymore either. But yeah, you can have it. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.